if a program is used to violate someone's rights, it depends on who that person is. You know, I thought another one of the commentaries this week that kind of had my favorite phrase of the week, finna be lit, um, which, which I guess means you're about to be doing something really fun. Well, I, I don't guess, that is what it means, but but uh, hey, it's, it's a, it's a ever evolving language and that's a good thing. Uh, and this kid who, who used that term seems like a good kid who had the audacity to go do something with his mother. See, that's, that's the underlying current here. Oh, he did something with his parents and he's like a, a high school student. No wonder he's in trouble now. You're supposed to, you know, you're supposed to not like your parents. But what they did is a terrible, evil thing that is completely protected by the Constitution of the United States. And that terrible thing is to use a firearm. He went with his mother uh, to the firing range and uh, to practice shooting, uh, which I'd really like to do. You know, I can't, uh, I'm, I'm a felon having refused to register for the uh, military draft when Jimmy Carter brought it back many moons ago. And then Ronald Reagan decided after promising to get rid of it, that he would prosecute the people who didn't uh, sign up instead of getting rid of it, which I didn't really like. And um, so I, I can't own a gun, but I, I, I would like to do target practice. And I would like to uh, do my part as a citizen to be able to better protect my family and other people, uh, you know, should something hit the fan. Um, but what's, what's interesting to me about this is, okay, you've got a high school kid who already made the mistake of being nice to his parents and doing stuff with him, who goes out and shoots a gun and practices his marksmanship with his mother and writes about it on Facebook. And then is, outed in a sense um you know what i'm, I'm i forget the the term it's not outed it's uh swatting is the term right right well and but but he kind of outed himself that he's doing something that of course is perfectly legal and constitutional but then someone turned him in and swatted him um so it's it's uh you know the the program he used, which frankly, I was never aware of until the story. Um, I wasn't aware there was such a thing as safe to tell. And so you, there's a, a, you know, a hotline and you can call and say someone's, you know, you think is going to do something dangerous with guns. Um, obviously this shows some of the problems uh, with such a hotline as that. Um, but so he, someone, swats him someone turns him in and says oh he's going to be a danger the police it seems like that you would go to facebook and and whoever turned him in you you'd want some way to get to what he had actually said and that if you went to that that you would have stopped right there because it was ridiculous mm -hmm. um but the police went to his house so quickly that he was at the the shooting range when they went to his house and then they realized, okay, this is not a problem. This is a kid doing something that kids do and that all people do and that's perfectly fine and legitimate and fun. But that, it didn't stop there. The school said he was not welcome to come back to school. And I don't know how this will end because I'm kind of hoping that, and, and of course the administration relented after a bit, they decided, oh, no, 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 you can come back to school. But for someone using their constitutional Second Amendment rights to be denied an education because whoever's working at that school is completely obsessed with guns, I guess, or has political beliefs that they believe are okay to use against people, whenever they feel like they can, whatever their excuse is, it's pathetic to think that they would block this kid from going to school. And uh, I think if he finds an attorney, I don't know what the payout's going to be, but he's 
likely to get a payout. This is completely outrageous. And I think it, it calls that whole program into question. Uh, they, they, and now I say it calls it into question. It calls it into question for you and me. But I guess if we just sit back for a second, we realize, no, it's not been called into question. If a program is used to violate someone's rights, it depends on who that person is, what their political beliefs are, what their gender is, how they like to have sex, who they want to have sex with, what their race is, where they came from, whether it was sunny yesterday or partly cloudy. I mean, it, all these other things seem to matter, um, but, it, but it just doesn't matter if you violate someone's rights if you're on the progressive side. And I say that because this is a story that if you watch Fox News, you will hear about. But this is a story you will never hear another word about in most of our media. Our media is not going to call this program into question because this is not a bad result. This is a good result. This is a result that makes it less likely that people will like the Second Amendment and, and go buy a gun and use it and learn how to use it. This makes it less likely because there are repercussions. And even when those repercussions are the blatant violation of somebody's rights, our media that supposedly believes in freedom and people's rights doesn't give a damn, doesn't give a damn about it. And so, no, it's not going to be called into question except by you and me and the people listening to this and, and that, that remnant or whatever, isn't that, that probably has some kind of weird connotations. I'm not sure I want to even say that. <laughs> it's but, biblical. But, it's okay. It's biblical. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, now I'm, now I'm, I'm, a, you know, now I'm for theology or something or, or uh, anyway, what's the, what's the form of government that it's not theology. Theocracy. Theocracy. Thank you very much. See, I need help sometimes. Um, but it, it just, oh, it, it just seems to me that, that the mainstream culture, little things like this story and realizing that there'll be no questions asked. There'll be no follow-up story about how we have to prevent this program from violating people's rights because it's violating people's rights in a way that the mainstream media is largely a-okay with. So the biblical reference I was talking about uh, is actually Albert J. Nock, who wrote an essay called Isaiah's Job. And uh, that was about what we who love liberty are doing, which is working to help a very small number of people, the remnant. But I don't think it's quite a remnant anymore. It's a little bit larger, eh? You know, the, the truth is, it's, it's a lot more than a remnant. It is, it, for years, I've kind of, you hear people say things like, they can't do that. And I have realized that, our ability to read the paper and look at something and say, that's just wrong. That cannot stand. They can't do that. We're going to fight it. No, you're not going to get away with that. All of that is this sense that we should have citizen government, that we are those citizens, that we can control government through the citizenry, all of that is critical because I think, you know, I, I don't think it's a tiny remnant of people who believe in freedom. Now, people have different levels of, of you know, sophistication in it, different levels of knowledge of the history or the philosophy or whatever. And, and, uh, but, but people want freedom. And, and when you see like the protests in Hong Kong or you see protests in Africa over some leader trying to sneak out uh, from under term limits or you begin to realize that even with totally different histories and, and backgrounds and, and living in different places in the world, we're all looking for the same thing. We want to be free. 
to live our lives the way we want to live them. We're, we're not asking to, for special favors with, in, in most cases. And, and so this idea that our rights can just be routinely violated and that in essence, the watchdog, the fourth estate, the, the media doesn't care. That is a really, really scary sign. And, and uh, I'm, I'm very critical of the media. I love media. Uh, my family, we all have been involved either in, you know, in politics and at different times and media, journalism. I, I love all that. I love that, uh, the, the, you know, communication and, and how it works. Um, uh, and, and I don't mind when media people disagree, you know, everybody disagrees on, on something, but to not care um, and to act as if you are the defender of our rights and then to just pick and choose some rights you're going to defend and others you're not. Um, and it, it, it's a serious problem, I think, that, that we have to increasingly recognize no one is going to question uh, people's rights being violated on when it comes to the Second Amendment uh, in much of the media. And that means that those of us who do care about it had better be on guard.